Good morning to everyone, Bluefox here, and today I wanted to tell you a tale. An obscure tale about Italy, history, government, and of course, video games. As you can see from the title, my government once sponsored and founded the making of a game that is now forgotten by the internet. A game so lost that googling its full name gives me around 300 results. But one step at a time, roll the intro. A couple of weeks back, I published a video regarding game development in Italy and why the gaming industry in the peninsula is so barren. I posted a video on Reddit and it received positive reactions. However, one comment seemed to disagree with my thesis and linked me to this mysterious game with the phrase, is this enough? Oh, I was shocked, did I just miss a gaming masterpiece made in Italy? What's even this game? What's Gioventù Ribelle La Breccia? I had to find out. Based on some scattered information I found online, Gioventù Ribelle, also known as Double X La Breccia, is a freeware released in 2011, set during the capture of Rome of 1870. The game was founded by the Department of Youth Policies, the Presidency of the Council of Ministers and the Institute of the History of the Italian Risorgimento, and is sponsored by the Italian public broadcaster Rai and uh, the Italian State Railways? Huh, the plot thickens. I could not find much information about the team who developed the software, no one in the studio. The group seemed to be disbanded. However, the director of the game, Daniela Zara, is head of the studio One on One Games, that developed the Suicide of Rackel Foster and VR Ping Pong Pro. From what I gather, back then the studio was only made of a handful of people, and they planned to make this game as a commemoration for the 150th anniversary of the Italian unification. At some point in 2012, something went wrong. Out of nowhere, the development of the game stopped, and the whole title was removed from the now defunct website. Apparently, the battle of the game was badly received, and the project was scrapped altogether. Finding it was no easy task, but eventually I found it in an old Dropbox folder, link of course in the description. As you may have guessed, this game is basically unknown to everyone, especially to the international community. So, since the game only lasts half an hour, and we got this far, there's nothing else for us to do than to play Gioventù Ribelle La Breccia. Let's do it! Well, alright, here we are. XX La Breccia. Took me a while to find the game, but the setup was quite easy. Uh, so yeah, first impressions, the game looks uh, actually quite completed. The menu looks very fancy with the Italian flag waving on the screen. We got four options, uh, one of them is hidden, which is navigation mode, uh, no clue what that is, and we have of course uh, story mode. So without further to do, I'll say we just jump in the game. All right, and we're off. Okay, uh, the narration was very well made, but it was a bit too long, so I had to shorten it down. Uh, if you want to hear it all, of course, I invite you to download the game. All right, so here we are. Uh, normal commands. Going forward, backwards. Uh, this is uh, one of those historical rifles you can only shoot once. Oof, but the aiming, I really don't like how you aim. Uh, that's, uh, that's not great. Uh, I don't like it, why it's not centered to me. Oh, whatever, let's just move forward. Alright, let's first impression. Uh, the nature is very well made. Uh, I like the trees, uh, the lighting, the shadows. Uh, uh, yeah, the lighting, oof, that's very well made. I think it's done with Unreal Engine. And are those stone pines? Uh, yes, there are stone pines. Uh, stone pines are a very typical Roman tree. Uh, it, they are everywhere around town, so that's a very nice detail from the developers to put into the game. And again, lighting, well, very well done. Alright, let's just move forward and see what we get. And I got stuck. Okay, guess we're not moving forward. I guess we're moving backwards. Okay, that was a bit uh, uh, weird. I mean, they could have just blocked the road with a truck or something. Well, maybe not a truck, but with a tree or with some uh, dirt or whatever, instead of just having an invisible wall. Uh, oh, look, some birds. Alright, that's moving forward. Again, look look at this aesthetics. It's very nice. I, I like it. There are some details, like those shadows that are to be improved. But, you know, the game looks very, very nice. I think, uh, I think it could have been a, uh, it could have been a noticeable game uh, for the time being. We got ourselves a little cutscene. 
parecchio fuori strada. Devo trovare una via alternativa per ricongiungermi alla nostra artiglieria. But what do you mean we have to go through there? I, I can clearly see an opening. It's not that tall. I like like there's a hole like three meters hole we can walk down to. Oh another invisible wall. Uh this is this is a bit lame. Uh I mean I understand that it was a 2011, but come on. They could have lowered the tree a bit more. Whatever, let's just move forward with, uh, with our campaign. Oh, I see some enemies. Okay, now now we fight. Now we fight. Alright, I'm not expecting a lot from the AI here, but... Uh, uh, well, they seem to hide, uh, to attack us. Uh, and to hit us quite uh, a lot. All right, well, uh, combat works. I can't say it doesn't. Uh, I still don't like the aiming, but you know, again, the aesthetics very nice. I do wonder if I have a health bar. I don't see any health bar. Uh, I mean, since the enemy takes a lot of time to shoot me, uh, and I take a lot of time to shoot them, I don't sh I'm not sure if my health reloads with time, or else that would be very OP in this scenario. Yeah, the AI is not that developed yet. Oh, where's the enemy at? Oh, damn it. I didn't even know we had a health, thought we were invincible or something. Oh, okay, never mind. Ah, let's go back to into action. Here we go. I think I don't see any other enemies in the field. Doesn't look the case. That's uh Again, you know. Well made guard. Oh, I just fold in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I think I cannot go out. Oh no. I think the developers didn't want me to be here. Oh, <laughs> oh I got stuck. Oh, that's not ideal. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I, I think I have to restart. All right, we're back, we're back. This time, let's try not to get stuck there. And just move forward with the game. Well, that was a an animation, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, it was a bit of random, they could have just opened the gate, but you know, there was some attention to detail, at the very least. All right, let's go through this villa from the Zulavs. Again, like the shots, uh, the the camera, it's like it's all well made. I mean, I can't say it that uh, you know, it, you know, well, it age a bit. It's it's uh, ten years old, but it's well made. Like the the scenery, it's just well made. Even this house, it's uh, look a bit uh, destroyed, but you know, oh, there are some enemies here. Oh, oh, I think he didn't. Oh, I think he doesn't hear me. Oh, oh, this is sad. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't flinch. Oh, yeah, the AI has to be a bit more developed. All right, all right, there you are. Oh, I think I hit him, did I? Yes, I did. All right, lovely. Uh, this place is a bit confusing. I'm not sure where I have to go. Oh, something I'm sure of, it's, a, it's full of enemies. Come on, come on, come on, reload, reload, reload. Yes, there we go. Hmm. I, I hear people reloading. This place has to be filled with people. There's one. Uh, that, would, that would have been too cheesy. Uh, do I... Do I have to remove this barrel somehow? Uh, maybe cut the rope or... 
Am I supposed to go somewhere else? Is this the only room? All right, I just assume I have to go back. Uh, I think I've lost a lot of timing here. I, I was sure I had to go like on the other floors, but uh, I, I think I don't have to. I think I've freed the house already. Oh look, a nice painting. Again, the, the villa looks quite nice. Uh, although, that lighting is a bit weird. Wait a minute. Wait, that's the sun? Oh no, oh, this is so cursed. Oh, I, I, I think I understood what's going on. Oh, the light's coming from behind the house, but it's lightening all the doors and the windows. That's... Ah, oh, that's so cursed. Oh, I wish I didn't see that. Uh, okay, let's just move forward. Uh, uh, this is this is not great. Let's just just, just move forward. You know, there was some attention to details uh, on the lighting and shadows, but that house, I just can't forget it. All right, are there enemies on the wall? Uh, yes, they are. Oh, I snapped that guy. There's a guy on that wall too. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Okay, well, it seems fair enough. I have to go back, uh, to the barricades to not get shot by the artillery. Sounds like a good plan. Alright, let's move forward. Alright, so next to the barricades, I should not take damage. Uh, why am I still getting damaged? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, I think I went, I went, I went to the wrong barricade. Maybe this one? Uh, no? Oh, shoot, I think I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, there I go. Okay. I think I did not understand how to do this. What? All the way to the farm? Oh, you kidding me? Oh, no, this is awful. Oh. Uh, Oh, why so back? This is... Ah, oh, come on, could there be a checkpoint before? Alright, I'll just uh, speed up this session because this is... Oh, this is not... This is not okay. That one perhaps uh, on the same line. Hopefully this one's gonna work. Alright, it works. Alright. Okay, I think I have to go... Uh, I have to follow the, the ones that are farther away from the center. Okay, seems to work. Uh, Getting a lot of damage here. Okay, there we go. I have to go inside there, most likely. There we go. Okay. I didn't die. So, again. Phew. Well, I... I'm not too sure where we have to go. We will uh, go through the wall and capture Rome. Ah, uh, that's not it. No, no. Okay, let's, let's try another route. Let's try going to the left over here. Neither that doesn't work. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, now I feel done. Okay, this is the path that they showed. All right, but again, the invisible walls. Ah, uh, just don't. Uh, <laughs> I really don't like invisible walls. It makes me feel uh, restricted in a way that it shouldn't. A game shouldn't. All right, there is. Oh, that he noticed me. He noticed me. Oh shoot, we got, got someone behind. Okay. Oh, that was. Totally unexpected. All oh, right. Oh, this this guy's hard to hit. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, there are some enemies over there. Oh shoot, there are a lot of. There are like two or three. The working animation is very dumb. Uh, I will never get used to that. All right, and here we are. All right, lovely. Uh, wait a minute, is, is that a matrix? Oh, that can be a matrix. Why is there a matrix stuck on a tree? That's extremely random. Why? <laughs> Why is that? Uh, I'll just pretend I never saw that. Yeah, yeah, let's just just work it out. Uh, the consistency is not quite there yet. But again, you know, credit or credit to you. The gameplay so far is okay-ish. And the aesthetics are very, very uh, well thought out. So, you know, uh, you know, I think this game could have some hope. Oh boy, where are we? Oh, this is it. I think this is the final battle. All right, I think this is the final battle. Put some music.
All right, we should be close. We should be close. Oh, I just sniped that guy. Oh, <laughs> that guy just walked in front of me and tried to protect his friend, which apparently is immortal. Oh, that was so epic. Oh, where are we? Oh. Okay, is the game over? Oh, okay. Uh, now we have the artillery. Oh, now we're gonna shoot. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, we're shooting the uh, the cannon who opened up uh, the well, the wall of Rome, and then ending up the siege, which is Porta Pia. Oh, okay. That's how the game finishes. Well, that's very smart. Uh, although I don't really like this animation. Uh, it's a bit wanky. Uh, okay. And I think we're done. Yeah, uh, well, I think I'm done. I think this is a bit of an epilogue. Alright, and uh, the game is finished. Uh, that was roughly half an hour. And, uh, well, let's go back to the video. Well, that was uh, something. Alright, let's get this out of the way. It's unfair to review this game as a complete title, since it's basically a demo of a prototype to a not yet finished product. And I really do not wish to be hard on developers that most likely were cut fans and had to abandon the project in a hurry. But nonetheless, there are some closing remarks that can be made, both positive and negative. You know, for an old game like this one, the aesthetics are fantastic. The lighting, the structure, the nature, the overall setting is great. And we only got the tip of the iceberg here. If the game proceeded with the whole campaign, we would have seen a beautiful recreation of Rome, just like we saw in Brotherhood. Narration-wise, it's also intriguing and it's clear a lot of effort was put into the voice acting and the scripting. The same, however, cannot be said for the animation and gameplay. The movements are stiff, the eye is not developed at all, the shooting element is undeveloped, and many other problems. I can forgive some bugs such as lighting and shadows, but I cannot forgive all the invisible walls present in what is clearly a linear game. In short, La Breccia is a mixed bag of potential and underdevelopment. The idea is not half bad, but it is clear that the project was way bigger than anticipated. If I were to guess, after the anniversary took place, where, side note, according to Wikipedia, even President Giorgio Napolitano tested the game, all investors pulled out, since they did not wish to commit to a long-term project. But what do you think about the game? Do you think it could have been a hidden gem, or it was destined to fail? Let me know your opinions down in the comments. To all of you four people that made it this far, I want to thank you Casino for watching today's video. I know this video will probably not take off anytime soon, but I wanted to try a new format, and not gonna lie, the mystery got more and more intriguing the more I looked into it. Let me know what other obscure games you know about and tell me your experiences. I wish you a wonderful day and see you next time! Arrivederci!